My dear friends, this year our church of St. John the Baptist, Pilen, is celebrating 365 years of its foundation. We know that this number is a very significant number as it signifies the number of days in the year. Though it's not a jubilee, but this year is very significant for us because our church enters into a very significant year. And in view of this, we have chosen something unique this, this year. That is, one family will be prayed for in the Mass. And also, the family will come and give a gospel reflection. So, it's like throughout the year, all the families that are there will be prayed for. And uh, we know that the Word of God is alive and active. It can touch and change our life. As our saint, as our patron, Saint John the Baptist, preached the Word and called for repentance, let this Word touch the families and uh, may it lead you to change your life. I wish you all the best in this journey of 365 days of our uh, year of this year and may St. John the Baptist intercede for us. This gospel passage is taken from Mark 7, 31 to 37. It's about Jesus curing a deaf man. When he returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of season towards the Sea of Galilee. In the region of Decapolis, they brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech. And they begged him to stay to lay his hand on them. He took him aside in private away from the crowd and put his finger into his ears, and he spat his fingers, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he signed and said to him, Ephatha, let us be open. And immediately his ears were open, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. The word of the Lord. Then Jesus returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee. In the region of the Decapolis, they brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Epata, that is, be open. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one. But the more he ordered them, the more jealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Loving Father, we thank you for this beautiful church as it celebrates 365 years of its foundation. May each and every member of this parish be blessed with good health, peace and lasting happiness. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of our patron, St. John the Baptist, who was sent by you to prepare the way for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. May he help us to work for justice and liberty 
as we walk this path of faith and self renewal as members belonging to the parish of st john the baptist we pray that we may grow in love and show respect and concern to our fellow brothers and sisters may our devotion to you o great st john the baptist open our minds to live a life of sharing in our families society and church we pray that our families may be reflections of the home of jesus of nazareth we pray for today's family may our small christian communities be models of prayer love and unity through the eucharist may our ties with our fellow pilgrims be strengthened give us the grace to walk together along with our fellow pilgrims making our community a vibrant one we make this prayer to christ our lord jesus christ amen saint john the baptist pray for us today we pray for the family of cyril akanthi and as we hear in the gospel jesus cures a deaf man because of his faith we know that jesus has the power of over everyone we ask jesus to bless cyril and his family members so that they may always have firm faith in jesus this is our prayer for them we may this prayer to christ our lord amen the lord be with you with almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen